The music freaks got me talking. Royal Fairy Academy kept getting better. YouTuber Academy exceeded my expectations. Now, get ready for a series made by Gaja Veteran, not Zoe, that has got me saying, Sorry guys, I couldn't like them all. Spirit Animals Welcome to a world that has no name and is only referred to as My World, where everyone has an animal representation inside them that grants some special powers. And everyone is divided by a social hierarchy based on how strong your spirit is. And they make that point excessively clear because they like to say the word ranker a lot. My power stats got higher! <laughs> no way! That means you're an elite ranker now! If I was a high ranker, I would tell them to shut up. What? You think you can run away from an elite ranker like me? Uh, I don't think you would want to mess with me either. After all, a high ranker like me could use a quick warm up for my abilities before arriving at school. Meet Brooke, a girl who is a low ranker. She is also apparently part of a prophecy. Why? I don't know. But apparently she will threaten the top student's reputation or something. There is little to no explanation why. You are just forced to deal with it. But what they will explain is how rankings work. Seriously, they spend about 5 minutes of almost nothing happening explaining what we have already pretty much figured out. For a 14 minute episode, isn't that a bit excessive? Also, there's Brooke's roommate, Riley, the only somewhat likable character in this. And only because she doesn't overstay her welcome and isn't a douchebag. Seriously, literally everyone else in this is a douchebag. Cairo, total douchebag. These two right here, absolute douchebags. Zuri, I don't care how much you try to make me feel sorry for her. She is still a total douchebag. Her seatmate, the douchiest of the douchebags. This guy, I don't even know who he is but they are most likely a douchebag. Also, watch as this show just seems to drag on, as Brooke tries to see the best in Kaigo, despite everyone telling her he's a douchebag. See kids, if everyone tries to warn you against someone, it's fine if you accept their friendship if you think they're cute. Also, listen to a theme song that almost makes up for all of it. Seriously, this song slaps. And another thing I noticed, this opening title sequence is basically a remake of the opening to the Music Freaks. This only makes me angrier! So, get ready for it. Dialogue and actions that only a douchebag would say or do. Now where is my money? I should be- Hey! How dare you not apologize to Zuri! No, I'm letting her go just because as head girl, I must give good impressions on the new students, shouldn't I? Next time though, I won't be so lenient. Oh, she's here. Ugh. That's the girl I bumped into earlier. Had to teach her a lesson for disrespecting Zuri. So she's just another one of those low rankers? People saying the word rank and other words associated with it some more. She doesn't seem to be giving off a strong aura like high rankers do at all. Because he's the head boy of the school and a mystic ranker! He's a mystic ranker? Add this freaking confession scene. I'd be friends with me even though I'm a low ranker. Look, I don't know what you mean. I've heard all those people you know. They say you hate low rankers. It's kind of suspicious of your sudden changes of attitude to me. Is there something you aren't telling me? I... I... Uh, I... I have a... a crush on you. I know you are trying to hide the fact that you're suspicious of her, but this scene just makes me hate you even more. And get ready for my heart to break as I have to live with the fact that I absolutely despise something that a gotcha tuber that I have a lot of respect for made. And this makes me nervous about other works by her I have to watch. Please be good. Please be good! Starring The Girl Who Lived To Spout Exposition Raiden But Evil Meh, you're fine. Black Haired Osana Red Haired Ribaru Adam Goldjerk 90s movie bully cliche. Sasuke, I assume. I never bothered with Naruto. And Bakugo, but he has the voice of Kano. Slokimon, the douchebag league. 